morning. It's Monday, May 18th, the start of another week. Anyhow, the watchdogs are being purged. These are the inspector generals. They keep watch for any wrongdoing and report it. Three inspector generals were removed on Friday night. This appears to me to be a systematic dismemberment of our national oversight authority. Getting rid of these people because they have the audacity to find and investigate the actions of the president and those in his inner circle. Now, the removal of these inspector generals is no coincidence. It's a trend. It looks like if you want to keep your job, you better not do it. In the latest case, Steve Linick, the inspector general for the State Department, started an investigation of the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and his wife on the grounds that he and his wife enlisted the services of a political appointee for personal use. So Mike Pompeo tells Trump to fire him, and Trump has to write a letter to Pelosi because under the rules of firing an inspector general, you must give Congress 30 days notice. So Donald writes to Pelosi that he, Trump, has lost confidence in Linux. And later on, he says he didn't even know the man. The removed inspector generals were doing their jobs. And as a result of the things they started to investigate, they were removed and replaced by people whose only qualifications for the job is friendship and loyalty to Trump or one of his lackeys. This threatens to allow mismanagement, waste, and fraud within our government. But that's okay as long as it benefits Donald. This open display of totalitarian-like behavior is destroying the image of the United States in many parts of the free world. Now, if this behavior continues, and if it's unchecked, it will eventually destroy the morale of all the dedicated, highly competent civil servants as they watch their peers being replaced by publicists and ass kisses of the president and his lackeys. Up to this point, there had been very little said by Republicans about these situations. But now Donald's actions have caused two Republican senators to speak out against them. Senator Chuck Grassley of, of Iowa said Trump must provide Congress with written justification for removing inspectors general and said a general lack of confidence simply is not a sufficient excuse to satisfy Congress. He wants a more detailed description of why Donald has chosen to get rid of Linux. He also said inspector generals are crucial in correcting government failures and promoting the accountability that the American people deserve. So Grassley is basically saying we need these guys because quite often our officials, our elected officials, may do something wrong, and so may other people do something wrong. So we do have to have somebody who oversees the situation. And Mitt Romney strongly condemned of the firings. The firings of multiple inspector generals is unprecedented, he said. Doing so without good cause chills the independence essential to their purpose. It is a threat to accountable democracy and a fissure in the constitutional balance of power. At a time when one would expect the president to be more concerned with consequential matters like more than 88,000 coronavirus deaths and record unemployment, Trump is still seething over his treatment during the impeachment inquiry. And he has nothing better to do than fire people who are just doing their jobs. These inspector generals who have been fired have warned 
their fellow inspector generals to just keep doing their job. This country needs them on their job. The problem is that if they were around during the Obama administration, they might just be fired because they were in the Obama administration. Not that Obama appointed them, but Trump has a fixation on Obama. Anything that Obama did, he negates as fast as he can. So he's cleaning house now. Anybody who was on the job during the Obama administration is a bad person in Trump's mind. Even though many of these people were appointed by Clinton or Bush, and they've been around a long time, and they worked through all these administrations without any prejudice or bias toward being a Republican or a Democrat, these people were apolitical. They didn't care what party you belong to. But now this thing has turned into a personal vendetta. You cannot say anything about what this administration is doing. These inspector generals found things that were wrong, things that were wrong from using a political appointees to not having the proper equipment for people not doing their jobs correctly. And I guess that's what we're faced with. We are faced with a man, a man who is angry, who cannot accept criticism, who doesn't understand the magnitude of the job he has, who refuses to accept advice and refuses to accept the fact that he needs people to watch over what's going on because this is a huge operation that he's in charge of. He's incompetent. Thank you. And good job.